what do you do or who do you go to when you have a serious decision to make let's say you, you want to get into entrepreneurship or you have you want to buy a property who is your guiding light into making those decisions that's the conversation i want us to have today let's get into it what's up guys marvin here i want to thank you so so much for uh you know always sticking by i see your comments i see your views thank you so much if you're new here please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our content and i am so so happy that you're here now as human beings we make de decisions differently we make decisions based on our uh, personality types whether we are intro introverts uh, extroverts or you know all these personality types but also we uh, use some other things let's say some people make decisions based on their disc personality type others based on the Myers uh, Myers uh, personality type others make decisions based on their Enneagram and of course all these come come back to things like you know you you, you rely on your logic uh, whereby logic you know considers uh, you know the pros and the cons that's that that's some of you like for you have to rely on your logic you look at the pros and the cons and then you make your decision that big decision that you want to do others do it make decisions uh, with their intuition it's like that gut feeling you know relying on the insight and the gut feeling and and by the way that's that I'm one of those people because I, I, I rely so much on my gut feeling and I'm going to share a story uh, in a few minutes about me making last year making a decision uh, based on my gut feeling that maybe I should have prayed about it the outcome really I'm still trying to figure out whether it was a good decision or not a good decision uh, because it had it, it involved uh, a quite a big uh, sum and it's not like a oh, hundred thousand but it you know it was quite a big, big sum but anyway other people make um, decisions based on research they you know they have to go and 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 analyze every decision and 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 look into uh, the quantitative and the qualitative and and the, the statistics of this before they can make a conclusion um, you know into that decision that they want to make other people are emotional they make decisions based on emotions you know they you know, rel they rely on the feelings and feelings guide them to make those desired uh, choices that they want to do and of course if you were in high school once you know some of the decisions you made regarding dating wasn't a gut feeling it wasn't research it mostly it it it, it, it was under this emotion oh but i like her oh but i like him you know um mostly that's that's what uh we followed the emotion and other people are like really intentional they they make decision um they uh yeah they make decisions that are re like really intentional by setting goals you know specific goals and 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 then they follow through they align those goals with objectives and then they will they will make make that decision and of course uh, others really make decisions uh, based on the on the on the horoscopes horoscopes yeah and um, even though I'm not uh, re that's not really my 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 uh, you know type of how I make decisions but I hear people so I hear so many people oh did you read your horoscopes what does the horoscope uh, uh, say today and and they will read the horoscope and that will be uh, something that guides them now of course th that's uh, again that's not really how that's that that's not my uh, kind of how I make decisions but um, what I'm what I'm what I want to come back to is um, last year I made a decision that I think I made it out of um, a gut feeling like it was a strong gut feeling and you know it was and it involved me doing something that I hadn't even like researched about uh, like you know the positives and the negatives and I think that's also like that's um, one of the um, how can I say <laughs> the, 
the disadvantages of being uh, you know an entrepreneur who wants things to just g get going i'm one of those people who you know like hey i have little information and my gut feeling is right about something i will go and of course here i find myself um spending money you know a good chunk of money um and uh, of course i had to, to convince my wife that oh this is a good decision that i'm making it wasn't it wasn't even like buying a property it wasn't buying something an asset or something um you know and i spent this money um i think over ten thousand and and but my gut you know i made a decision out of my gut and you know it's something that i m maybe i would have um if i had slept on it maybe three four days but but there was i was making a decision out of my gut but also there was um not pressure but um how can i say i thought there was a f I, I, I there was a fear of missing out and so here i am uh you know get into this uh, uh venture and spend the money and of course yes i'm still trying to figure out did i make a right decision did i not make a right decision but here here today what i'm, I'm trying to focus on is and and just nudge at you is who do you go to how do you make your decisions what influences your decision making are you an impulsive uh, decision maker? Do you just make your decision so quick? Or do you take a time to think through the decisions that you make? Okay, I want to get into entrepreneurship. I want to start a business. I want to buy this property. What's your process like? Who do you consult? Um, and uh, uh, of course, now I'm reminded by this uh, king in first chronicles i think first chronicles from verse from chapter 14 all the way to chapter 16 there was this king of course it it ends it ends in in uh in it's chapter 13 uh king uh, i think abijel had died and then now they come they come back from the war where he had died and then uh chapter 14 he's won the war king asa comes in and the scripture says that king asa did what was good and pleasing before the lord you know and he started off well in chapter 14 king asa making making good decisions you know some of the decisions king asa did he removed foreign altars you know uh, from the shrines and he you know uh, smashed all those sacred pillars and and he you know commanded all the people of judah to seek the lord you know he did all these things and in fact it says that that those were peaceful years because king asa when he came into power when he became the king he did all the things that were good and pleasing to the lord he sought the lord he commanded the people to seek god and actually in chapter 14 still this guy came uh, a guy from ethiopia came with one million uh, army and and king asa his army was weak and i don't know you know and so he cried out to god and he said oh god uh you know we've been attacked w what shall we do and god you know like um uh, you know he rescued them and won the war for them you see basically he was everything he was doing king asa consulted god everything he was doing he sought the lord and in fact in chapter in chapter 15 prophet came and told and told king asa that for as long as you seek god he will always you will always be protected you know it, it was like god was saying if you seek me if you keep seeking me you i will take care of you if you and then and then he said but if you abandon me then i will also abandon you you see king asa in chapter 14 he's like you know everything is has all these big decisions to make he goes to the lord and seeks god and seeks god and in everything and then in chapter of course uh chapter 16 now he's he's started making pacts with uh people from other territories and he's you know he's getting into war and he's becoming ruthless and he has almost forgotten to, to seek god on the decisions that he had to make now of course in it ends in chapter 16 where king asa uh, had to you know he got he got a foot disease he got a serious foot disease in chapter 16 and 
do you know what he did god in god expected king asa to seek uh, to seek him but you know what king asa sought he only sought the physicians that's what the bible says he only sought the physicians and did not seek god now i, I keep wondering what would what would have that what would have happened if king asa had sought god regarding that foot disease i'm very sure that um because it wouldn't be in the bible that he only sought the physicians and did not seek god because he ended up dying of that foot disease because he did not seek god now of course today this foot disease can be something else like you have a big decision to make in your family like like you have you know school you know there's there's a choice of school you you know you you have to make a decision about school that you want to go to you you know you or a type of or work that you want to go to or um and yeah get seek employment or you know buy property or, or, or invest somewhere get into entrepreneurship these are all big decisions to make and to them that's what i've been thinking about like who is your guiding light how do you determine that okay now i am making a this a, a, a good decision how because in fact i didn't even uh finish uh the the uh, all those uh types of of people how people make decisions of course some of them are ethical they look at the ethical you know is is, is moral ethics is this right is it fair is it uh how how will it impact other people you know that's how people make decisions and and for me that's my question today how are you who influences you making decisions who helps you determine that what you're doing is right because ultimately we all need that kind of uh, guidance and and light that okay now what i'm doing i am i am doing a right decision you know why because if you if you don't seek good counsel if you just make decisions without thinking through them or without sleeping on them then of course you are going to waste time you're going to waste money you're going to um, get involved in things that you look back and regret and i wouldn't want you to do that and so that's what i've been thinking about today and wanted to ask you or encourage you that when you have a decision a big decision to make and and also please make sure you don't make any decision out of pressure you don't make any decision out of pressure but but when you have a, a decision uh to make sleep on it also put a ceiling on how much money do i how much how much money can i spend without me consulting anyone either my wife or people that that matter to me now of course for me i have decided that any amount above 500 dollars i need to consult my wife i need to talk to my wife about you know like hey i want to purchase this or i want to uh, give someone uh, it's 500 dollars or what i need to consult or just sleep on it and think through it hey am i am i doing the right decision pray about it i think that's the most important thing and so i want to encourage you that or challenge you that every time you have a decision to make that is big consult look for that guiding light and for me that guiding light is the lord jesus christ as my lord and savior and you know i seek him and i and i, and I consult when he gives me that peace regarding a situation i go ahead i don't know uh what what it is for you whether uh intuition of course yes god and god speaks through all this you know god speaks through the intuitions god speaks through these things that i was mentioning uh, uh first because that is the in that is the intrinsic self our our intrinsic self and uh, of course you know god is not going to um sh shout or what in your ears but when he gives you that peace in your heart and and you make a decision through your guts with that peace or without logic or you know then you know you're doing the right thing i don't know what what it is for you but i want it because i've been thinking about it hmm, i wonder if king as had sought the lord i wonder if he would have lived long but you know he started well cause uh, seeking god on everything doing the right things and then he veered off now of course that's the same thing with, with with us sometimes you know you want to make a decision and it's a small there are small decisions and there are big decisions and i think that's where we make an error you only pray or or consult 
about this, the, the, only this, uh, the big decisions and not the small ones. But you know, either big or small decisions, they need to be uh, carefully thought about and, and, and sought guidance about. And so I want to thank you so, so much for, uh, you know, the, uh, allowing me to, you know, share this that I've been thinking about. And please hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.